When you're downloading images from a device, such as an iPod or a digital camera, there are several different ways to do it, and I'm just going to show you one. The first thing that we want to do is to make a folder on our desktop so that those pictures have somewhere to go after we, when we download them. So I'm going to right click, new, and folder. When you name your folder, you will want it to be the assignment name. I don't have an assignment for this, so I'm just going to put pics for pictures. And then I'm going to open up that file. And I'm just going to come right up here to the top and bring it over here to the side so that we have it there when we are ready to drag our pictures over. So now we need to actually plug in the iPod. So you take your cable and you plug it into the bottom of the iPod. If you have never used this iPod before, you will see a little rectangle over here on the right hand side that says install installing the device. It only takes a couple of seconds. Let that go ahead and happen. Once that does, you will see this autoplay for the iPod. We actually want to wait for just a second and we want to go over to our iPod and turn our iPod on. And our computers make the iPod trust it. So you have to go over and tell the iPod, yes, I want to trust this computer. And once you do that, your computer will be able to access those pictures. So now I'm gonna come right over here to where it says open device to view files, and then internal storage, DCIM, which stands for digital camera image, and then your picture should show up here. After the digital camera image, you will find a folder that has just a random name. Go ahead and open that one up and you will find your images. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and bring this over so that I can see my folder that I want it to go to right over here. And then here is my iPod. So what I'm gonna do for this one is I am going to click and drag until all of my images are highlighted. Now, if you're doing a stop animation and you have hundreds of pictures, there are a couple different ways to do it. You can either click on your first image, hold down shift, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then click on your last image, or you can do exactly like I did the first time, go all the way down to the bottom, hold, click, and highlight, you always want to start down here in the white area. So you click over here and then you would just let it scroll up until you get to the top of your images and they're all highlighted. Then you have to hold the control button down and don't let it go down. Click and drag it over to your other folder. Once you do that, you'll see all of your files over here. So that means you can come back to your iPod and I go back once and then delete that whole folder. 